It's business as usual here at the Defence Animal Training Regiment. They've still got to turn these dogs into fully-fledged military workers. This is military working dog Nicky. He's a four-year-old Dutch herder and we use him as one of our training aids on course. So Nicky helps us as much as the human instructors do. Nicky helps us to get our trainees through their courses. Uh, his specialisation, he is a, a patrol dog. So he's the kind of dog that you'll see walking around the fences and standing on gates at military establishments. Nicky is out for his morning walk, just like the many you can see in this field. And if you look closer, all of the handlers are sticking to social distancing guidelines, which is something they've been following before the lockdown began. We have to stick to the government prescribed social distancing guidelines of two metres between people, but our own guidelines insist that there are five metres in between dogs on the lead anyway, so we have no issues with you know, sticking to those government guidelines. With more than 100 working dogs on site, life for them hasn't changed too much. But for their handlers, they've had to stop all training on the base. In line with many other military establishments, uh, training of people has been temporarily suspended. Um, so we are, we are standing ready to, um, to reactivate that, that training engine. What we, what we haven't been able to do um, is just turn off that training for the animals. So the, the dogs in particular, um, the training in itself is mentally stimulating. It's, it's absolutely essential for their well-being and for their mental health. So we, whilst we are, we've changed the way in which we've done it, we're still having to carry out that training so that they can be, um, so that they can be maintained. Uh, so when the training pipeline does come back online, we can do it as, as seamlessly and painlessly as possible. <laughs> Whilst the animals might not quite understand the lockdown rules, social distancing guidelines are further in place for military and civilian workers here. Whilst our interactions with animals may not have changed, how we interact with each other has. So we've just put in place procedures and processes so that we can maintain social distancing, so that we can main, you know, enable people to wash their hands more regularly, uh, altering cookhouse timings so that we can be as mindful for the people as we can while still carrying out our responsibilities to the animals. So for many of the animals here, life hasn't really changed for them. But for the household cavalry horses, they're actually getting a bit more downtime to reside in these vast fields, while the household cavalry remain on standby, ready to help with operations involving COVID-19. We have 205 uh, horses on site at the moment. Uh, this time of year, we would no normally only have a 40 or 50. So. It's, uh, it's something new for us as well, um, trying to accommodate that many animals um, and make sure that they're still being looked after. At this time of year, uh, the mounted regiments in London, so the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment and the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery would be getting ready for a very busy ceremonial season uh, on the streets of London. Clearly, uh, that ceremonial um, duty has been temporarily suspended because of coronavirus. And so in order to allow the manpower to be able to respond to any issues, tasks or emergencies in London, uh, the horses have been sent up to uh, the, the leafy fields of Melton Mowbray. Throughout the year, horses would come and stay in these fields, but there's currently five times the amount they'd normally take on, all of which need to be cared for. And to do that, they've had to free up some more manpower and some of their fields. Of the 350 acres, um, we've got about 180 acres of, of purely grazing land. Um, as you've also seen, there's a, uh, we've also got a very busy canine training squadron, so it's a case of uh, sometimes deconflicting the arguments between the two squadrons as to uh, who gets priority over a particular field for exercise or, or, or training. Like anything, all good things come to an end. And for these horses, they'll be back in London once the regiments can go back to their ceremonial duties. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.